Okay, let's go over steps. The idea behind steps is basically, let's say we are starting to do a song and we want to start off with the looper with the bass sound. So we have a preset here, 300, sweetest bass. And uh, <clears throat> everything's dialed in and we're dropping the bass line. Now it's time to move on to the guitar part. And let's say we want to use like an acoustic guitar. But if we wanted to use steps to change our effects from our sweetest bass sound to our acoustic guitar sound, let's say on number preset 400, we would have to do this, scroll to 400, land on it, and now we can start playing our guitar part over our bass line. Uh, obviously, that's not very practical. So what you would do to, to solve this problem is basically create a step. That way, when you're on a preset and you want to go from one set, uh, set of effects to the next, you can step through them on one preset. Uh, let's go ahead and do that. Let's create one, and I think it'll make sense to you once you see it done. So let's say I would start always when I create my steps by, by uh, dialing in a preset that I really like and I think is perfect. We'll go over modifying presets later, but let's say we did do that. We went through the preset, we dialed in, we went through the guitar layer, we changed the type of amp, the drive, the delay, we decided what effects would be on or off, but let's just say we dialed this in perfectly. We've got this wonderful sound that we're very, very happy with, and it's on preset 400 body res 1. Keeping in mind, we can go back and rename these things at a later time as well. But let's go to the original preset that we wanted to, to add the step to. And let's say that that's 300. So we'll scroll down back to 300. And now let's say we want to add a step to this particular preset. To get into the steps menu, you simply press and hold the steps button. By doing that, you're now in the steps menu, as you can see here. So the next step would be at the, the top section is to select the preset we liked, which was 400. And now it's basically saying we want to take preset 400 and apply it, copy it to preset 300 as a step. And all we have to do is hit the step button to accept this, or we can hit the layer button to cancel creating a step. But in this case, we want to create a step, so I'll go ahead and press this. So now, you'll notice that at the bottom, you'll see it says steps, because we've added a step. So this preset has steps, and you'll notice not all presets have one. Um, now what I would, but by the way, when you're done creating the step, before you do anything else, I would suggest you store it by hitting store twice. Now it's stored, we can turn the machine on, off, and when we go back to preset 300, it'll have steps. So let's basically, now if you notice, with the, I'm on preset 300 and I can cycle through the steps. The first step would be the step that the preset was, which was that bass sound that we had. The second step would be the guitar sound. So we basically uh, copied that preset into a step so we can cycle through it. So now we can cycle through that preset by using the step button. So we uh, hit still works the same. You can have hit associated to that step as well. And then let's say we want the bass sound, we can also assign a hit. Um, in this case, they're the same. So let's add something so you can visibly see the differences when we're using hit. So now we're on sweetest bass, which is, let's say, the preset 300 sweetest ba bass has two steps. It has the bass sound, which is step one, and then it has the acoustic uh, sound that we created and moved over that was from preset 400. So if, I, if I'm on 300 step one and hit hit, that works. So I have like two layers of that preset that I can go from. I can go to preset 300 sweetest bass, hit off, hit on, then I can jump over to the acoustic guitar sound by hitting the step. It loads that acoustic sound and I can also assign that to uh, with a hit. So I, it's like having four different sets of effects on one preset at this point. And you can continue to build this. What I tend to do is I typically start my songs with a uh, acoustic guitar. So my primary uh, preset will be acoustic guitar. I set up my hit the way I like, and we'll cover that later as well. Um, and then uh, what I'll do is I'll go back around after dropping a guitar like rhythm part, and I'll drop a bass line. So I'll just hit create my step two as being my bass sound. 
I'll go ahead and uh, hit the step button, get to the bass sound, drop the bass line, and then my next step, I'll create like a lead. In fact, let's let's create one a third step. I'm going to press and hold, and I'm going to find a sound that I like for a, like a lead guitar, and I'm just randomly going to pick something. Here, let's go delay and drive, and then I'm going to copy that to step two of two by hitting the step button. So now if I, I hit the step button, I'm cycling through the three steps that I now have. I have step one, which is the bass, step two, which is the acoustic guitar, and step three, which is that lead sound that I applied to this preset. So one preset, three different distinct sub presets, if you will. Um, the first one is the actual preset. The second one would be the first step that we created, which was the bass sound, and then the third would be the lead guitar sound. Uh, before you, now let's, again, I would when you're done doing this and you like what you've done, I would store. Now you're able to go into any of these steps and modify the preset. So for example, I'm on step three, that lead guitar sound. Uh, we haven't covered modifying vocals or guitar effects, but basically what you would do is select the guitar button on over here, and you can jump in there and you can change the amp type. You can change different parameters like the pre-gain, post-gain. It's hit control, how it's associated to the hit button. Basically, it's determining what the hit button will do uh, with this preset. Um, you can use the scroll wheel and you get more options. And we're going to cover these in depth as I go along if people do want me to create more of these videos. Uh, but let, let's say we want to change the drive. Oh, this is also a good time to point out that even though we have five effects buttons that are visible here and five on the screen, the UMod, Delay, Reverb, Comp, and Drive, don't forget hit is a function, it's not an effect, so we have five that are visible. The, the Voice, Live, Voice Live 3 Extreme actually has many more effects that can be used on presets, but they only have so much screen realty and they only have so much switches down here to, to show you. So they're all kind of in the back end. Uh, so again, if you hit guitar, the guitar button here, you'll notice you have a ton of options here. You have amp, the amp modeling, the drive, the delay, the reverb, compression, wah, uh, micro mod, the octaver. And if I hit the arrow here, I can scroll through the tabs. You have rhythmic, you have the button mapper, expression pedal, and preset. So again, you have a lot of options, more than what you see on the footboard or the LCD. But again, we'll cover that as we go along. At this point, I just want to recap. I'm going to hit home to get me back to the steps uh, screen, to my preset screen. I just want to recap that you have a preset and you have the steps, think of them as sub-presets uh, sub that are buried within this preset. So now preset 300. Now I don't have to rush from preset 300 to 400 between a verse and a chorus, I could simply hit my step button and it gets me over to where I want. Um, it would be nice if you can uh, step up and down and with maybe switch six, apply that. And I'm not sure if you can, I'll, I'll do a little homework and find out if we can do that or not. Um, but this is pretty much a, a rundown on presets. Uh, we are gonna cover a lot more advanced topics on, on presets and steps, but for now, that should get you guys started. Hope that helps.